Looking right now, a recovery effort at the Eagle Creek Reservoir. Yeah, we first told you about this search as breaking news. Last night, a man fell off his paddle boat in the choppy waters here at Eagle Creek. A woman dove in, tried to save him. She was not able to save him. She, though, was rescued. Yeah, Fox 59's Darius Johnson has been near the water all day watching the search and speaking with officials about what's going on. Darius, what's the latest? Hey, good afternoon, Dan and Fanchin. You know, this is day two of that recovery effort, now surpassing that 24-hour mark. And crews stayed out here until at least 9 o'clock last night and started their search again this morning as early as 5 a.m. before the sun began to rise. Now, Pike Township Fire, they were the initial lead on this investigation. They've now handed it over to the Department of Natural Resources, and they're out on the water right now. In the past hour, they expanded that search to both sides of the marina using multiple sonar boats and two divers. And you can see there's upwards of six officers right there in the distance. And tonight, officials have some safety tips for those who are planning to hit the water. The biggest concern with those types of watercraft are they are manually powered and not engine propelled. So if we get in a situation where there's bad weather, it takes a lot longer for you to get back into safety. That's what investigators believe happened Wednesday afternoon on the Eagle Creek Reservoir. Pike Township Fire tells us a man and a woman were on paddle boats. As storms and winds approached, the water got choppy, tossing him overboard. She tried to save him, but had to be saved herself by a stranger. Weather is one of the things that we preach on, especially when we teach safety courses, is you have to you know, be aware of what's coming in advance. Indiana Conservation Officer Mark Baker says it's even more important when operating a non-motorized watercraft like kayaks and paddle boats. Some of the least sturdy or stable are going to be your stand-up paddle boats where your center of gravity is very high and you can get thrown off those if you don't know what you're doing. So it's it, every watercraft is individual specific to itself. Neither of the two are wearing life jackets, which is legal. Indiana law only requires the life jackets to be present. If you got those tucked away in a compartment or stuffed under some straps or something like that and you get thrown off suddenly, that's really not going to do you any good. Wednesday, Pike Township used boats and divers to search for him. Thursday morning, they continued their search using boats and sonar technology. They have now handed the investigation over to the Department of Natural Resources, who are exhausting every effort. One of the issues that we're dealing with down there right now, as I understand it, uh, is there are a lot of people who witnessed it and there are different witness, witness statements putting it in different locations, so it's very hard to narrow down a tight pattern for it. And right now you're taking a live look at one of those DNR boats. I'm actually in talks with the sergeant who is on that boat right now. And he says that right now they are working grid patterns using that sonar technology as well as expanding the search area to now both sides of the marina. Meanwhile, I've been talking to family members out here who understandably don't want to go on camera who say they're just hoping this will come to an end soon. That's the very latest at Eagle Creek Reservoir. Darius Johnson, Fox 59 News. And Darius, please extend to that family our love and our prayers because this is a very difficult mm -hmm. time I cannot imagine.